Abeka and Saint Peter bin Sa. Na kata damani mu kakra ka inyumri. Ushe kata ni mwa ensem e wumi bini se. In the Superior Court of Judicature, in the Supreme Court of Ghana, Accra, the pa, the signature, a shekrate yase, yan, the stamp possesses so, war, a ye, the Chief Justice, Yamame, get through the Tukonu, na, a ye, criminal appeal, appeal number J13, do, 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 a ye the attorney general Godfrey Yabu Adami versus the state. We a ye appeals document. Ya a ne Supreme Court acknowledging receipt of it. Ya a free the office of the attorney general. A ye appeals document ever case bimu. This is the appeals document on the case involving Dr. Casey Atoforsen and businessman Richard Japa. Now, on the 30th of July, 2024, and at the Court of Appeal, it delivered a 2-1 split decision in favor of Minority Leader, former Deputy Finance Minister, Dr. Casey Latoforsen, and Businessman Richie Japa, ya equity womo of no wrongdoing in the 2.37 million euro ambulance case. Nipa imi enui, a file a case of no submission in that ambulance case. High Court Botugui established a prima facie case. Emma ye di case noa. My daughter case lato for se kadi uklusu ni case. Emma ni bejina reti japaso. But now Oma di kai a file an appeal. Ewa the Court of Appeal. So still ya ano submission of no case ni diye. Appeal Court in San Juan Musan. So mu unu boni bi Oma ye. Ense so mu di na Court. Na yetu to 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 mano. Eno na court of appeal no court transi. Jaji se miyen sa court transi. E mu miye nu. E jitu mu se e ye no kre. O mu miwe mu nina di adansi e se submission of no case ni. E wasi jina. Ne high court no ye enfonsuo. E nti data case la to forsen. E na richi japa. E nfo mu hunko di. The attorney general. E ma gana fo nina ati e se. Kesi this is not the end of it. O beko appeal. Na na appeal na okono. He is moving straight to the Supreme Court. No, they are saying not down. Now, what's the adequate idea? Answer say the acquittal of Casey Latoforsen and Richie Japa. Answer say here then they hold the test of time because ruling no one knows what can be no and for so be brave. Now, said they be a open case in a city making kind the appeal document in their chair. But said they be a open who said the case in a city called a city ban until. Me say to me, boss. Now must summarize the entire decision of the court of appeal. Yeah, you two one. The obia can yentia ni omu jina so a rule is a submission of no case no any na na doctor case lato forcing and reach japa and fan unkudi any statementa attorney general and so edia send ni appeal document mo nusu chere se supreme court nusu chere so na sa appeal court ruling no or nusu yen setino aside said the biabu nusu said the case no esi eko. Now, just the form and sound or more than say what the appeal case in Osuno. Aye, one Justice Kwekuti Akabwafu. Two Justice Philip Bright Mensa. And a three Justice Alex Poku Echampo. These were the three appeals court judges. Ya yeah, omo a rule on the submission of no case and the possible and answer the acquittal. Of Dr. Casey Latoforsen and Richie Japa. Judge in here will be kind of justice. Kweku T. Akabwaf. Nin sem na wakaini nyanana. Mabona tofan. Ose. Based on my analysis. And in fidelity to the law. I am of the opinion. That the appeals. Filed by both the first and third appellants. Should succeed. In the result. I would allow the appeals and the ruling of the trial court dated March 30th, 2023, calling on the first appellant and the third appellant to open their defense in respect of the charges in count one and count five, hereby set aside. Also, the call on the third appellant to open his defense in respect of 
the child in count three set aside in their place an order upholding the submission of no keys entered for both the first and third appellant in respect of those three counts in the charge sheet is issued. Consequently, both appellants are hereby acquitted and discharged. Reasons no for ne Justice Philip Bright di nyana ne yepe nti mekani nyana boom na makani mako. Now, they both made or no ena Justice Philip Bright mensa both made some conclusion including the fact that the prosecution which is the attorney general did not establish a prima facie case against Atuforsen and Richie Japa and therefore the high court erred by upholding the argument of the state according to Justice Kwakuti Akabuafo Justice Philip Brightman Sawuchirimwa the attorney general and to me I establish a prima facie case do mu hu e de no hu ye omo say they rejected the case of the attorney general that ato forcing issued the letters of credit without the authorization of the then finance minister say tepe noting that evidence adduced by confessions from both ato forcing and said Tekpe indicate that his boss said Tekpe was very much aware of Ato Forsen's actions and that he said Tekpe gave Ato Forsen the permission to issue those letters of credit. And the judge informed me in which room the other kind said Attorney General Eka said Ato Forsen issued those letters of credit without authorization of crown according to Judge Simeon and yes, sanity. And the Kodentu Amuka Sani said, Ato Fosse no anka said the dance here or court to say, and then the two me soon were the sign. Sansuna said, Tekpe Yana or your finance minister, or no so Ato Fosse and friend as a witness, or no so be the dance here or court to say, or no, and the man, Dr. Kessel, Ato Fosse, to me, said all issue those letters of credit. And then the Omoji, you will say, Tekpe Asem no two munu prekope. So you cannot come to court and say that Ato Fosse acted. Without authorization. This is according to the two judges. Ebi almost say to succeed on the charge that the first accused acted without cause and authorization. The best evidence to establish it was for the prosecution to have invited the substantive minister, Honorable Sir Tepe, having regard to the evidence, it was done on his blind side. We are of the considered opinion that Sir Takpe was a material witness whose evidence would have decided the case one way or the other. Failure by the prosecution to invite him to testify that he did not authorize for sin was fatal to the case of the prosecution. For the law is well settled that if there is a vital point in issue and there is one witness whose evidence would, would settle it one way or the other, that witness is a material witness that ought to be called to offer evidence. There is that evidence on record in our present case that in the course of investigations into the matter, Honorable Sir Tekpe is said to have volunteered a statement to investigator prosecution witness five in this case that seems to suggest that the request for the establishment of the LCs was done on behalf of the Ministry of Finance for purposes of clarity we reproduce assets of the statement that is exhibit five upon receipt of the Attorney General's opinion Minister of Finance proceeded to establish the LC. The letter noted that this was a valid contract. By this voluntary statement to the investigator, it means that Mr. Se Tekpe was very much aware of the steps the first accused took in requesting the establishment of the LC to avert the 
imminent action against the government of Ghana for breach of contract. And this advice was given by the office of the Attorney General then. Now, there is no iota of evidence on record to show that if indeed the letters the first accused wrote were done on his blind side, Mr. Tepe repudiated the same or he queried the first accused for what he did. It cannot be lost on this court that it is the Ministry of Finance that has the sole power and or duty to request for or authorize letters of credit to be established on behalf of government ministries and departments. The prosecution witness for in his evidence to the trial court as appearing on do -do 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 admitted that that was the right procedure to follow. In the result, we roundly disagree with the learned trial judge to have rubbished or rejected Exhibit 5, saying that the author of that statement has not been subjected to cross-examination. I think that the lower court fell into serious error, occasioning a gross miscarriage of justice to the first accused because his duty is only to raise doubt in the case of the prosecution. On the authorities, if there was a doubt in the case of the prosecution, it shall inure to the favor of the accused. Consequently, we allow the appeal on count one. And to Omunina Swa Omudi Ejina Swan Yanana say, Sir Tepe, Eji to Muse, or no nema dot a case lato force into me. Na se wani an to mumpa krate bien wanu mu echresa se tekpe e kweli ato forsen e wasa na mona utu yenu. Krate bien we se dia dance se se tekpe e reporto ato forsen wasa na mona utu ye in the issuance of those letters of credit. Hence it means that se tekpe was fully aware and fully in support of an amona ato forsen tu. Eno mu chirema in the ministry of finance. It is the substantive minister that is held responsible for any other payment made. This is a take and to me and deny the act. It's just a two for sign of the act. The now prosecution in first said take pay. Now said take pay to me back and check to say the act of force in here. You know, only more. It will move those who say judge in your tree. You know, a young from so it was a deal. And now the other judge or no a general. And so, or dissented to the views of the majority, or rejected the submission of no case by two forces. On the high court decision to establish a prima facie case, you know, is absolutely in favor of that decision. Because, according to Justice Alex Pokwe Champo, said Takban Swan to me and provided evidence to be a child said, or no, and my daughter case that two forces to me. Every single letter of credit, yeah, a involved payment, biano, ne pa ni signature ne chassis, e ye doctor case la to force. According to Justice Alice Pokwe Champo, letters of credit, nye one day ye di issue, and nye one month ye di issue, na e ye over a period of time, into all those period of time, where was the substantive minister of finance in tia, ni nina a to force, and a sense in tia, on the na o ye fully. In support of the High Court establishing a prima facie case, it is say Angasa na appeals court no ruling no na etie. Now, Osha, the learned attorney general, your Godfrey your brother, me appeal no so far here in was say the argument is say the court of appeal misdirected itself and committed error of of law. By ruling that a prima facie case has not been established against Ato Forsen and Richie Japa. And the Yura Attorney General Suchirimwa. Appeals Court 1. Omo misdirecti omo. En omo sa ye mfum suwa. Emran mfum suwa se. Omo chila se. Attorney General. 
and the high court and to me establish a prima facie case and frontier at force and a rich japan because according to the attorney general and your man way and then the attorney general and justice if you say what's a book and to me establish a prima facie case against these two accused persons for them to open their defense Barako. And say on 7th of August 2014, letter be a year signed by Atu Fossil, Echo Bank of Ghana. Yana a instructed Bank of Ghana say or more establish irrevocable transferable letter of credit. Yeah, Nessi Kesha so a year three million nine hundred and fifty thousand euro. Yeah, nipa nessi cano kwamano. A e big C general trading limited. Jumendi ene sikano kodiye. A e payment for ambulances for the Ministry of Health. And a Tony General assigned to me. To me, create a yama letter of credit in resort to in payment. No, and so a koi on the tenth of August. Ya sika ye tu a yano an kwa an kwa ye three million nine hundred fifty thousand euro. But ye koi ye two million. 370,000 euro. The purpose na is a supply of vehicles by Big C General Trading LLC. Vehicles in a buy, you know. They didn't meet the description of an ambulance. Yeah, a fact clearly established from evidence on record accepted by all parties. All parties, it should say, the Attorney General. The first accused Atu Forsen, the second accused Dr. Sylvester Enimana, the third accused Richie Japa. All parties on court record, Edgy Tumu said, the vehicles that were shipped they didn't meet the description of an ambulance. This is according to the appeal of the attorney general. Now, again, court on court, said, the terms of the contract governing the transaction was violated by Dr. Casey Atuforsen due to his criminally negligent and unwarranted stance. That is the if effecting payment. And Attorney General Chirimua and Krata free the office of the Attorney General. Yeah. Ministry of Health, any Minister of Finance in such a scene, contract nature say, yen to yes, it can be a good say, ye be ye inspection, yen will say, dear yen say, come, and ye dear na ye pay. But in this case, letters of credit were established and uh, metamorphosed into payment without Ghana getting value for money, Re with Ghana receiving defective. Vehicles. So someone can you know, a matter of public record. Ya to Kurebi. Now all parties they didn't dispute the fact that ye Tiesika and some of the ambulance and the Bahamia be who say the ambulances and the vehicles are defective, not fit for purpose. And the according to the Attorney General. And no enema justice if you say what said the butchery agent also said. Say Ghana to me and to you see car two million three hundred and seventy thousand euro. Now you have to cry vehicles in the above money. None the power cry. A buy a share ya a di vehicles in the buy ya juma. And a afe a buy a share ya we see car some so. Ghana ambulances. You know just to me say car is no better than you. Yet you see, can't die. And so, human beings say, "Be dear." And to me, need dear. Then people will have to answer questions as to why payment were made to the tune of two million three hundred and seventy thousand euro. Meanwhile, those vehicles could not serve their intended purposes. And what? And the man, the high court judge, yeah, my justice officer, sir, was able to establish a prima facie case because of my no abaka. And the first accused was asked to establish uh, to open his defense because 
every single letter of credit that went out there was signed by him. There is no record, both written or any other record, that can back the claim say, say, take and a man to force him to me, other than Nin Samuel or Nwaka Sebejina court to kind as a witness to the first accused. This is according, according to the attorney general. San Samuel T. And a man, the high court, led by Justice Fiasa was at Butchi, establishing a prima facie case. In T. Say, appeals court to say, a prima facie case was not established. It means the court of appeal misdirected itself and committed an error of law by ruling because there was enough evidence. Yeah, a man crying, a man. The high court, led by Justice Sefia Sewasa Butchi, established a prima facie case. And all these evidences, letters of credit, the actual contract between the Ministry of Health and the Ghana's Parliament, yeah, Danny Bay, a big senior, Nina, is in the possession of the Accra High Court. Then the interesting times ahead, you ever a Samoa, a be free Supreme Court, and so ever. But until then, the breaking news is that every year, the Supreme Court of the land has acknowledged the receipt of appeals document from the Office of the Attorney General appealing the decision by the Court of Appeal on the acquittal and discharge of Dr. Casey Latoforsen and Richie Japa in the 2.37 million euro ambulance case.